Hi there and welcome back to another how-to episode. Today we're using Engineering Toolbox again um, because you all seem to like when I do that. Oh great, it's raining. Uh, let me just turn off the rain there for a minute. So today we're going to be doing another power generation, this time using the hydro uh, electric turbines. Uh, now the first thing you need to know when you're using these is they have to be in a river biome. So if you hook up F3 there, you can see that I have a river biome just here, across here. So we're going to put ourselves um, some hydroelectric generators here. So it's very simple. All you really need is some modular sockets, which we've gone through before how to build. They're fairly easy to build and you can build a couple of, and then you need hydroelectric turbines which are if we get the recipe up uh, weighted pressure plates heavy iron basically uh, and some PSUs and an energy input and then of course if you want to get the energy out of these things we'll need some uh, energy outputs so as I said they're very easy to make you just stick it on one side. The side you stick it on does need a water, so a water source block beside it, so make sure you have that. And then if we have an output, if we want to output this. So let's uh, pick this up and uh, we'll just put it down here. And you can see that it's charging up an RF, which is cool. So let's get ourselves an energy cell and possibly some conduits and if we put this down here and make sure that it's set to input you'll see that it's starting to charge up the energy cell but again it's not that fast we kind of want more than that so let's go a bit crazy so what we want to do and I'm going to do this up here is we want to get some energy inputs and we're going to put the energy inputs on this side and also on the bottom and in fact we're going to put one on the back as well and then we're going to get our energy outputs and we're going to output this direction as well so what I want to do is I want to get loads of them like this um, and just put them along in a line in the river so the output will come out this side and then in this side of the one next to it so in a sense they all get chained up together so let's uh, grab this and put this back down so this is now charging up an RF and if we get ourselves and uh, here's some I made earlier. Um, uh, I've made two different ones here. Uh, and I just want to change the creative mode. You'll obviously have to do this yourself. I have one for this side, which is the right hand side, this one. And then I'm also going to put one down behind it, like this, to get the other side of the river. And this is going to output on that side into this side so in a sense they will all come to the top right hand one here so let's go ahead and just kind of make out this one here like this and yeah I thought as much the um, no no it should be okay so let's go absolutely crazy and uh, hmm. oh yes I have to shift click and let's completely fill up this and we can really make out just a huge hydroelectric power plant here this is going to be pretty big 
but it should be able to generate a sufficiently large amount of uh, energy. Um, so I might leave it at just one layer, but uh, I'll put in a couple of this second layer, and uh, that one won't work. And uh, you, in a sense, get what I'm doing here. So all of these, with the energy inputs and energy outputs, should transfer between each other. Uh, and I'll show you just put one more on the other side to show you what would happen there. So if I put just like this on this side, so the hydro is on there, on this side, so it looks in a sense like a cool hydro plant or dam, which looks kind of cool to be honest. So let's go ahead and put our energy cell here, uh, switching back to survival. So if we put this here, you can see how quickly that's going up. That's pretty impressive. And that is 100% free energy. Um, once you place it, it will just keep generating forever. And you can just keep putting down a whole line of these, which is pretty cool. So there's just a quick how-to video on how to set up yourself a hydro dam to provide yourself with ORF power which is kind of cool and that's charging really fast now we don't even have all of those down it would take you a while to make these all but you probably agree that it's worth it in the end so um thanks for watching this i uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, i will see you later